Hey, um, last week I finished Final Fantasy 3, uh, which means it's time to review it. Um, it's for the DS. It's a remake, uh, slash port of Final Fantasy 3 from Japan. Uh, it's the only Final Fantasy that was never previously released here, out, or rather, anywhere outside of Japan. And you gotta wonder why it took them, you know, 18 years, give or take, before releasing it, or even even porting it or remaking it. And maybe you could say because, you know, the game in its original form wasn't very good, and the technology needed to kind of spruce it up simply would not have fit the feel of it at the time. You know, maybe the Game Boy wouldn't have been as good of a choice to remake this game on, and maybe the DS was perfect for that. That's, it's going to be up to, you know, player uh, opinion, uh, however you feel about it, whether or not it was, you know, if the, the medium of choice was correct. Um, so, I'm going to answer whether or not I think waiting so long as, as most, you know, gamers did before getting their hands on this if it was worth all the waiting, if it was worth all the hype and, you know, the exclusiveness of being only in Japan. And, you know what, I'm done talking about that. Let's move on. I spent 60 hours, roughly, playing this game. I was level 56 when I finished it. And over half of that was spent leveling up jobs. So let me bring me, let me talk about this. This game is a job-based system. If you've played Final Fantasy 1, if you played Final Fantasy 5, you'll, you'll know what a job class kind of uh, system has, what kind of feel it has. Um, however, they dumbed it down. Uh, leveling it is simple. It's always 100 points. However, uh, each job has different kind of growth rates. Um, but in order to grow, you need to take actions in battle when you have a job equipped. So, attack, guard, item, that special ability for that class, what have you, as long as the battle isn't over, you can continue to repeat those actions and continue to build up points. When you hit 100, you're going to level up at the end of the battle. Uh, there isn't... Supposedly, there's uh, an overflow kind of technique where you might not need the same amount of turns to level up. However, I could not get that to work. So I would say don't worry about it. Uh, if you want to get specific and you want to get technical, you can try it. But I would say that in the end, one battle, one level, that's how it works. It's relatively simple, just rather time consuming. As I said, it took about 30 hours just to get seven jobs to level 99. Um, moving on. Um, there's a lot of jobs, so it's, personally, I think there's too many, but then again, each player likes to do their own thing, so it's customizable, and that's good. Um, now, the problem that I had with this game is the story. Final Fantasy is known for their story. Uh, some for their gameplay, but mainly, the story is the central kind of core of any Final Fantasy game. And this game just, it just, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have a story. I mean, the story is there. It's its loosely based on the crystals. It's kind of reminiscent of Final Fantasy V with X death and, and all that. Um, it's just, it's, it's kind of out there. And really, it's not really put together well. It's just go here, beat this boss, help this person out. Here's some more jobs in this crystal, and there's there's a lot of things that kind of tie into the other Final Fantasies. And to be quite honest, I've never played. I I don't own the Japanese version of this game, so I can't say, you know, that they changed the story for this remake. But if this really is the original story, just kind of spruced up, you know, translation wise. Story-wise, Final Fantasy III does not live up to the hype. It, it, I'm not surprised they didn't release it out of Japan, outside of Japan. Um, 
Not to say it doesn't have some unique kind of qualities to it. I did, I did find, I mean, I got kind of bored and dulled, and I just kind of got burnt out on this game by trying to, to level the jobs. And then when I went to go play the story, get through the story, I found myself enjoying the game more. Even though the story sucks, it feels good to go through the story rather than just sitting in one spot constantly grinding job levels. Um, speaking of grinding, this game is like an old Final Fantasy in every sense of the word. This game, the difficulty of the enemies ramp up. Bosses easily ramp up. And if you're not leveled, or if you don't have high job levels, and you're not prepared, you will get crushed. And that is exactly how the older Final Fantasies were. But then again, if you overlevel, things are so simple. It's ridiculous. So they could have kind of balanced it out more if they're, you know, since they remade it. Um, but in terms of that, it's 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 got an old feel to it. Um, moving on, they like I said, or I wanted to say, they dumped things down for this. Um, and I think part of that is just because it's a DS game, and maybe 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 not so much that it's a DS game, but it's more of a casual kind of gamer kind of feel to it. There's elements in the game that kind of appeal to the hardcore, you know, gamers, are hardcore RPGs uh, fans, Final Fantasy fans, whatnot. Um, but they took a lot and put a lot into this game. They put you know this this Wi-Fi connect which allows you to send mail to other friends who have Final Fantasy 3 or NPCs in the game. They kind of introduced, they kind of like implemented Magnet, like Final Fantasy 9 in this game. Uh, but there's not really a subquest really based around the Moogles themselves, more along the lines of helping other people, the NPCs in the game. And through that you can unlock various things, but it's such a hassle. I mean, in order to, to use it, someone's got to be on, you got to have friends. The friend actually has to be online to send the mail to them. And, you know, it's just, the, the extra stuff they threw in here, not necessary, in my opinion. Um, I would prefer, you know, increased length in the story, increased, you know, increased, Make the story better. Add more subquests that revolve around the story and the game as opposed to doing this, you know, Wi-Fi stuff from all over the world. And, you know, in the end, I guess, you know, if I had to give it a score, and I really don't like giving games scores, it would be a 7 out of 10. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about Final Fantasy IV for the DS, how it's every bit as good as, you know, the original, and it's definitely better than this game. I'm not going to pick that up, but I'm going to take their word for it. Um, but that's just an example of how this is a remake of a game from Japan, and it's not that good, and Final Fantasy IV, which is another remake of an old classic, and it's really good. And I think most of it comes down to the story. The story in this, just, it just it falls apart. It's not good. And that's why I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. I mean, you'll enjoy the game. I mean, if you're a big Final Fantasy fan and you like the job kind of system and you like, you know, a little bit, you know, pick up and play here and there, this game isn't a bad game uh, as a game RPG standpoint. As a Final Fantasy, it is definitely, in my opinion, the absolute weakest Final Fantasy I've ever played in the main series. Uh, if I had to rank it from like one through whatever, it's definitely the bottom of the list. It's the absolute rock bottom of the Final Fantasy main series. Not that it's bad though. There's going to be people that are going to enjoy this game. I enjoyed it for what it's worth, but I can still say that I didn't think it's as good as all the other ones. Um, so like I said, I'm giving it. I'm giving this game a 7 out of 10 for 30 bucks. If you want a Final Fantasy to play on your DS get this uh if you already own final fantasy 4 maybe get that i mean it's kind of you know give or take but um that's been my review of this and you know now you know what i think